hello again Hi. and we are back out in the countryside in Cheshire in a little place called Winkle which we've never been before it's really cute isn't, isn't it? it and we're staying in that which is a bit of all right isn't it a bit of a special treat yeah it's for, for birthday. Shell's birthday so let's go take a look around On, put you back into it. <laughs> so, because the farmyard is down there and the shepherd's hut is behind us, they give you this uh, very handy wheelbarrow to bring all your kit up from your car to the shepherd's hut. Actually, a really good idea. Mm -hmm. Although, I think the tyre could use a bit more pressure. <laughs> so, uh, let's get unloaded, hey? Yeah. Into the hut. So, we have the obligatory fire pit, which I'm sure we'll be getting used later on. And with that as a view, we have a summer house, if the weather turns bad with the heater in it and everything. Look at the cheddared smile on your face. <laughs> and the wee shepherd's hut itself. This little fitted kitchen, some free goodies on arrival, bed and a couple of cupboards, and look at that for a view out your window, Whoa. and a little uh, and bijou, and shower. Mini, shower, mini sink, mini shower, mini loo, pretty nice huh? Lovely. And look at that, the sun's coming out, marvellous. So there's a bit of a sunset going on back there, over the hills, which is quite nice. And we've had dinner and a sneaky little drinky. Mm, some champers. And champagne. Shell's opened some of her presents. So I'm being... very spoilt I was too. Hey, you got some nice presents, didn't you? I did. And being such a nice night, we thought we may as well use the fire pit. Mm. So in true bushcraft style, no lighters. So we are going to go for it. We're kind of set up there. I'm going to go for it with the uh, the bushcraft kit. Let's see how this goes. So I decided the old fire steel just wasn't cutting it. Works, but look at the size of that. So it was time for one of them. XL fire steel. It's the fire starter. So it hasn't actually been tried in anger yet, so this is a first go. So let's see what happens. Some of this stuff is quite wet, isn't it? It's very wet. Let's see how we, tr we fare with this. <laughs> oh, nearly oh. set the pants on fire. <laughs> but we're going. We are going. And my pants were nearly going as well. <laughs> Tell you what. Well, check, that works. Check that out. <laughs> Pleased with that. So while the fire's going, we've had a bit of a uh, visit from the locals. <laughs> Good evening, all. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, caused a bit of a stir now. <laughs> I have no idea where all these have come from. Oh, fell running sheep. Well, we're well and truly surrounded. <laughs> 
It's quite all right. So as the fire dies down and we near midnight and we can hear the sound of some squawking from the trees of birds which we don't really know what they are. Do know what that bird is? No. Nope. It's, it's been going the whole night and we don't know what it is. Probably an owl of some description. Anyway, it's time for Bobo's and it's still going. And the thoughts of what tomorrow might bring, it's, a lovely hill, isn't it? it's absolutely amazing. And that's the nighttime view. So, signing off for tonight. And we will catch you on the morrow. See you in the morning. Morning glampers. And what a lovely morning it is. Not bad at all. <clears throat> so we both slept really well, yeah, dead comfy in there, woke up to some nice weather and we're going to have a bit of breakfast and uh, head off on our route for the day. Our route starts, side of you can see the end of that, <laughs> that fence there, on the other side of this fence, that's where our route starts. So again we don't really know what's in store because we don't know the area but we're heading down, well we're heading up round this way behind the shepherd's hut in a big loop. By the river? Or... <coughs> well, we're finishing you up down by, you can hear the River Dane, just, which is down there, uh, finishing up by the River Dane and then doing another little loop on the other side of the River Dane and then heading back up here, which uh, I'm quite looking forward to. So we'll check in again when we hit the trail. Coffee. Coffee first, yeah. Coffee and crumpets. So we have left the shepherd's hut behind, just over that hill, and we are heading into a little enchanted forest. Let's head on down. Under the trees. <laughs> Check that out. Our path snaking down there. I think that's the River Dane. Or something flowing into it you can hear down there but yeah lovely little uh, wooded area and this is the start so as I say we don't know what's in store but it's looking good already yeah it's lovely isn't it and the weather's supposed to be improving some sunshine in store later on. Yeah. So fingers crossed for a good one. Oh wow, look at this. Cross over the little bridge. Cool, look at that. Very nice indeed. Onwards. Well, it's pretty nice round here. We're a couple of miles in and we've got some stunning scenery. <coughs> some lovely rolling hillsides behind. And uh, it's a good job we brought the GPS because the map, the paths are non-existent. Yeah, if you look behind us, there's a path leading up there towards those trees. But 
nothing visible on the floor so we're just kind of uh, walking along the lines on the GPS and hoping for the best. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're carrying on up in that direction over to a place called Nettle Beds. <laughs> so that could be interesting. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll crack on. The clouds are a bit thicker than we hoped for, but we're still hoping for this sunny afternoon that's been promised. It's still clear. Yeah, but still. And it's warm. Isn't it's it? warm, yeah. And look at those views. So turning out well so far. Onwards and acrosswards towards nettle beds. So bearing in mind it was my idea when I plotted the route to go down to nettle beds. Found nettle beds. Yeah, there's uh, nettles galore and not really much of a path. Although there is on the map and the GPS. Obviously well trodden as you can see. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> this is going to be fun. Forgot me machete, would have been quite useful. Is there a style down there or? My god. Ow, sting. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that's the path right there. Onwards and downwards. Four months. It's been uh, a dry spell of going away, to say the least. So, to get an actual two-night stay away somewhere has been pretty mega, hasn't it? Making the most of it. Yep, and a good walk so far. Varied terrain. We had a little bit of a detour back there. We had a. The route took us into a farm, which we should have been able to go through and round and out the other side, but we couldn't. So we had to cut back onto a lane. And but we're back on track now. Walked through a whole lot of cow poo. Yep, an awful lot of cow poo <laughs> down there. Ruddy boots. Yep. But it brings us to our lunch stop, and hungry as we are, and you'll be amazingly glad, I'm sure, that we're back with a vengeance with. <laughs> and these, these have been sent to us by one of our favourite subscribers, it has to be said, my mum. <laughs> and she said, I don't tell her a lie, she hasn't sent them, she just, she just dropped them round the house. So <laughs> we've got Knickknacks Rib and Spicy flavour. So quite a sizable bag rib as well. And saucy. Oh, sorry, rib and saucy flavour. Rib and saucy. So let's, let's see what these are saying. Oh, I haven't had knickknacks for years. No, I've not. Bit of a throwback. Rib and saucy, eh? Mmm. Kind of what's city texture, aren't they? A little bit mm. tougher. Do you always taste like that? Mm. I remember oh, them being crunchy. I thought they were more like um, twiglets. Mm, more along those lines, but that's more of a what's it consistency, and they were never like that, were they? What's happened to you, knickknacks? Anyway. You have changed, knickknacks. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Mr. Knickknack. <laughs> um, they're okay. They're all right. They, they, they're saucy. The I mean, rib sauce is there. Do you think? If somebody yeah, hadn't told not. you what flavour they were, would you have guessed? Yeah. Mm. If I'm honest, and I'm sorry, Mum, loads of flavour. I'm a little bit disappointed. They're not bad, but they're not brilliant. Mm. Maybe a vague rib sauce, but it's vague, but not mm. bad. So well, I think. We'll go middle of the road, like. Five and a half. You think? I think that's generous, but I was going to go for. All right, we'll say five and a half. So, Mr. Knickknack, 
if you're watching, which I'm sure you will be. Sort yourself out. Sort your consistency out, man. <laughs> <laughs> and a little bit more flavour wouldn't hurt. Yeah, either. we take crisps seriously. <laughs> yeah, you know, if you want your crisps reviewing properly, this is where people go and we're honest, you know. So <laughs> heed the advice. <laughs> Is it? It's quite fast flow in there, yeah. so. True. I think it'd be rather cold. Ice cold. It's achingly uh, cold. <laughs> it's hazy would be right in there. OB would not. <laughs> Hello again. So we've ended up coming up to, well, further down the valley there, we come up to the edge of the River Dane, which is this in front of us here, which is really beautiful. And we followed this up for a couple of miles, which has brought us into Dane Bridge, which is where the Winkle Brewery is based. So we thought it'd be cheeky not to grab a pint. And this is Winkle Brewery's own ale, and it's our first hand pulled pint in four months. So quite pleased to uh, to be sitting in the sunshine by a river and having nice beer garden. yeah better beer Don't garden than average in Liverpool. yeah totally and this beer is i've just been told by the woman in the uh, the brewery it's called wibbly wallaby and the story goes i can't even say it after <laughs> no pints the story goes that back in the 60s there was a guy who owned a zoo around here and amongst the animals he had in the zoo were wallabies and the zoo had to close down, so what he did was took the wallabies up to an area not far from here called the Roaches and released the wallabies into the wild. And surprisingly, between the 60s and the 90s, the wallabies thrived and lived in the wild. So for 30 odd years, there was wild wallabies in the hills of Winkle and the Roaches. And apparently she said, if you Google it, there's still, there's still pictures. So- I would have loved to have seen them. For that, cheers to the Wibbly Wallabies. are on the move again. Doing one again. Don't know where they're going. There's something going on. Something more interesting in that yeah. field. 
and the sun is still shining, which is lovely. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? It's been a great walk, hasn't it? Lovely mm -hmm. day. We've just popped nice back day. and had some showers, and uh, we're going to crack, or oh, we have cracked open a bottle of Lanzarotti wine that we brought back last year. And I sat waiting for a special occasion for many months. This is definitely a special So this is it. Time a, for a, it's a semi dolce, isn't it? It's sort yeah. of semi sweet, really. Semi sweet nice. Lanzarotti white. They don't actually export that off the island as well, so you can't buy it anywhere else. And it is absolutely fantastic. So, a couple of sips of uh, Lanzarotti white wine. And then a curry for tea. And then a nice big curry and, and a fire. A chill. And perhaps another beer. Oh, we've got some company Ooh, behind Check us. this out behind us. <laughs> <laughs> we've got company. So, cheers. cheers. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. It's been a great birthday. Mmm. That is marvellous. Oh my god, that's nice. Oh. I know we don't do wine reviews, but. No, if we were reviewing wine, that's a, that's a 10 and a half out of 10. Mm. Time to soak up some sunshine. Enjoying a bit of fire again. Around the fire again. Getting a bit of a warm. Yeah, it's gone a bit chilly. It's a clear evening, isn't it's it? Completely clear. Not a cloud in the sky, not a jot of wind. Lovely. A little bit of a chill in the air, but really nice. Just been sitting out here chilling. Mm -hmm. We went in, had a huge curry. Enormous curry. Tea, Very nice. Which was nice. Sitting out here having a couple more drinks. You're on a um, Winkle Brewery. Winkle Brewery Old Hag, which is a stout porter, which is uh, an interesting combination and very nice. It's very Big. apt considering yeah. it's my birthday weekend. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. I, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, shout out to the, the Winkle Brewery doing some really good ales. Been yeah, really impressed with their stuff. stuff. Yeah. So yeah, the light is fading. And the temperature's dropping. I don't think we're going to last much longer. No, a bit knackered from the walk. But mm. we're going to do uh, a little bit of a trundle tomorrow, I think. We're going to leave yeah. the car and have a little bit of a walk from here it's before we go. Too nice not to, isn't yeah. it? It's lovely here. And we've lovely got all area. day, so we'll do a, a little trundle somewhere. Mm -hmm. Bring you along. Yeah, you can come along for the ride. So until tomorrow, sleep well. We'll see you in the morning. Cheers. And it's another absolutely stunning morning in Winkle. The sun is out, the sky is blue. No wind, boiling hot. Cold night last night though, I think yeah. there was uh, some heavy dew, possibly even some frost on the ground. But what a morning we've woken up to. And unfortunately we're leaving today, but... Yeah, I wish we had another day. Yeah, but... I wish we had another several days. <laughs> it's uh, lovely though, wasn't it? Oh, it's amazing. But with the weather like this, <laughs> I think uh, we're gonna pack the car up and leave it in the farmyard, hopefully if uh, Mr. Farmer's okay with it. And have another little yomp. We're probably going to head down and go over the Dane Bridge onto the other side of the River Dane. And have a little bit of a sniff around there and see what's going on. So, uh, Too good to pass up. Yeah, <laughs> you can't. I mean, just look at that. I'm not getting straight in my car and driving home when it's doing that. So, yes, let's... Uh, Pack up, get the boots on, and see what we can find. Too good to pass up. So we're back on the trail. And this place is amazing.
just listen. We've come down from the hut and crossed over the River Dane and climbed up the other side into this dense woodland which is just dead still, sun peeking through the trees, not a jot of wind, birds tweeting, absolutely glorious. It's special isn't it? Yeah, amazing. There's a quite a deep ravine just over here with the, uh, well it's not the River Dane, it's something that feeds into the River Dane but it really feels like a different country. There's a big drop down there really dense uh, dense woodland and so quiet and so peaceful so we've got a little bit of a loop in mind which is only short but we're going to see if we can elongate it a little bit and see what else we can yep. find see what else the Dane Valley has to offer but yeah loving this So we are approaching the famous Hanging Stone, which is mighty impressive and rather huge. And we think we can get round and on top. So we're going to head round the side and have a look. It's a monster. So <coughs> this is heading up the back. And these are the views. Whew. Stunning. That is not bad. One mighty big drop down there though. Straight over the edge. <coughs> that is spectacular. <laughs> yeah, not a bad idea. Long way down. So here we are, up on the roaches. Yeah, and very spectacular it is too. I'll let you have a spin round and look at the view. We've come up from the Hanging Stone. This and, is uh, where the wallabies were. Yeah, there's wallabies and wombles and stuff up here apparently. <laughs> real, real live wild wombles. So yeah, it's a bit of a ridge route. Um, we've elongated the planned route a little bit, but we're going to head along here, along this ridge behind us. Back down. Yeah, and head back, river. back down towards the Dane. But with weather like this, we just can't pass it up. So, we're gonna hang around a bit and enjoy some sunshine. So, we have come down from the roaches through some lovely sort of laned paths and the sun has been shining all day hasn't it yeah it's gorgeous it's been today. baking hot really really nice and we've eventually looped back around and met up with the uh, the woodland path that we headed up on so we are now heading back down into Dane Bridge and unfortunately back to the car to go home which sucks some but Amazing memories of this yeah. weekend though, I'll always remember it, I've loved it. We were just saying how impressed we've been with the area and didn't yeah, expect and to be. Yeah, up there today, you know, it just shows you, it's probably about an hour and 15 minutes away from the Yeah, middle. and it's really, really nice. I think somewhere we'll make a point of coming back to. Yeah. The Dane Valley and the roaches and all of that. The so, next one we've got a few days off for. Yeah, we've got a four-night four trip, haven't we? 
Going back to the lake. Back to the lakes for the first time. <laughs> Can't wait for that. So that's, uh, yeah, that's next weekend. But as for this one, yeah, it's been a thoroughly enjoyable trip. Amazing place that we've stayed in. Fantastic yeah, walking, great weather. Can't fault it. And it's even got its own brewery. <laughs> so, for now, once again, signing off. And we'll catch up with you next time, wherever and wherever, wherever and whenever that may be. So, Lake District. Oh yeah, yeah, indeed. <laughs> So ta-ta for now and we'll see you then. Bye.